I mean, they, they, they were the better team tonight, for sure. Um, we, we had good opportunities, we had, you know, to, to, to win the game, but they, um, they turned it up in that fourth quarter. What are some of the things that you look at and you say, you know, we could have improved this? You know, fast break points, obviously, a pretty big disparity there. Yeah, that's, that's number one for us, our, our transition defense. You know, um, you know we want to get, continue to get better with that, um, you know, especially against a team like Toronto. We know they play, you know, extremely fast no matter who's in the lineup. So, you know, 32 8 fast break points is the, is the most glaring thing that I looked at. Everything else is pretty even. Shorthanded, um, can that be... You know the guys that have to step in in situations like that. Have you seen that in the past be something that motivates an opponent? Yeah, but they still got championship players on it. No matter they they were shorthanded, but they still got guys as championship DNA players. You know, so we didn't we didn't take that lightly. And the guys that came in, um, you know, gave them a good boost. There was that five zero swing where Kuzma missed the layup with some contact. They came back and hit a three on the other end, but. This 12 point game, but you guys didn't pack it in at that point. What was the key to that little spurt you did to make it, make um, it competitive? Well, that was definitely a foul, um, you know, but, you know, it's, it's deflating. You know, you get a great defensive stop, we get a great break, um, and, you know, foul isn't called, and then they go down and hit a three, um, you know, to put it back put it back up 12. So, um, you know, it's a deflating play for us. Um, but we just, I mean, we were a resilient team even early on in the season. We just kept. Kept going, kept going. We had some great opportunities still. Uh, we just wasn't able to connect, and then they, they was able to get a couple uh, easy fast break points with us, um, kind of like in desperation mode. You talked about improving transition defense. I mean, did you see other things out there tonight that you think needs improvement, or can you say, hey, they were just a better team tonight? Uh, well, as always, I mean, win, lose, or draw. When, if you win games, there's room for improvement. When you lose games, there's room for improvement. So uh, we definitely look at the film tomorrow. Um, and see ways we can improve, uh, especially with it being early in the season. So, you know, that's always good. Ron, Frank said that you guys try to take the result out of the process, but when you are winning, that tends to mask, you know, whatever might be going on. Does a loss in it have any sort of wake-up call element? Uh, what does that mean, take the result out of the process? Where it's less about winning or losing as long as you're, you're, you're building. Yeah, that's, so, all, that's all we're trying to do. Uh, uh, we want to win basketball games, but I don't think anything gets lost, you know, with us because we're not a – we're not a complacent team, and we're, we're kind of even keel. So, obviously, we hate to lose, but they were the better team, and we just move on to the next one. We see how ways we can get better tomorrow in the film session, but um, nothing was masked. Um, there's still ways for us to be, uh, you know, better, and we 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 know that. Um, um, we're we're a really good team, but we want to get even better. Pick it up. Uh, we scored, I think, like 18 points in the third quarter. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta get our offense clicking. You know, we uh it they killed us in transition, you know. Um we had some good looks, we missed shots. You know, they had some, some big plays, you know, but you know, we gotta you know, be able to score the basketball a little bit more. Um just for nice just our defense might not be there or they're making tough shots. Um, you know, but we're fine. I mean you know, we still gonna lay our hats on defense. We're gonna get off and get them moving the basketball. Um, the zone was a little different. They threw a weird double team um, at me, and I had some costly turnovers the entire game. Um, I gotta be better there, but um, you know, we'll watch the film and, and just see where we can get better. You guys trailed several times during that seven-game winning streak and ended up coming back, obviously, to win all the games. Can a loss refocus anything? Does anything come to mind when you don't actually get the results? I mean, yeah. Even when we win, I mean. You know, we don't want to be down the whole time and be a team that, you know, is going to fight back and win every game. We want to have the lead <coughs> and be able to win games that way, too. Um, so we learn from our wins. Um, and we're going to learn from this loss. You know, uh, we're going to look at the tape and see where we can be better. Obviously, you know, we had some costly uh, turnovers that um, landed some fast break points. And then, um, you know, the transition, especially towards the end, you know, the two baskets that they scored. Um, you know, we got to be better there. But... You know, guys came in and stepped up big for him. Um, Rondé at 10, uh, Boucher, or Boucher, I don't know how to say his last name, but 15. Um, they made some big plays. They came in and stepped up. Obviously, you know, that coaching staff and that, and the guys on that team, um, championship, you know, caliber team, you know. Um, so they're a good team. And they came in and um, played well tonight. How, how's the shoulder felt just since the first time a couple weeks ago that it was a little sore during the game? Yeah, it's fine. You had a play um, 
you had a play where you had the block and then you kind of came up wincing. How how often are you feeling it, and do do you, and when do you feel it? What kind of play are you feeling it on? Um, what should I play through? I mean, it's really never a play I don't feel it. But um, if I'm go out, going going to go out there and play, um, I try not to let it affect my game. Um, but just play through it and then worry about taking care of it after the game. The thing that you were wearing at times on the bench is that... Um, or just heat. heat. Yeah. <coughs> Did you feel like the effort was there on your transition defense, or, or were they just beating you guys down the floor? Oh, they're the one um, pace team in the league, and they play very fast. Uh, <laughs> and so um, it was times where, you know, we're crashing, and, um, or, you know, the corner guys are not getting back, and, you know, once they get the rebound, they have four guys who can get it, get in and push it. So, um, and their guys are running, and you know it was, it was a little bit of effort, effort thing where we just wasn't getting back. Um, you know, and we and we know that, and we just got to be better in that department. How much treatment are you requiring on the shoulder? Um, just enough to get it ready to play. Frank, what did you see that shifted in that third quarter, and, and how was it trying to get that back as the second half went on? Yeah, I, I just think they played a, a better basketball game. And credit the Raptors, they were terrific tonight. You know, they're, um, you know, the guys that they had starting the game played well, but they're guys coming off the bench with opportunities to play they don't normally get. They made the best of them. They're, they're you know, those guys shot 18 for 29 and, and really hurt us. Um, you know, during that stretch in particular, you know, I think we uh, we didn't take great shots or we turned the basketball over and they got out on the break. Frank, I'm um, not sure your transition defense w w has been exploited like that yet. Um, it was that just kind of the Raptors being active, or, or did you see some maybe guys not, not getting back? Yeah, they're the best, fastest team in the league. Uh, fast break points per game. We knew that coming in. We knew we had to execute offensively, and when we didn't, uh, it was going to be a run out that we couldn't recover from. And um, yeah, we've been, we've been showing great effort in transition defense uh, and getting back in sprints and trying to make recovery plays. Uh, but that wasn't always there for us tonight. And, uh, and it cost us. Frank, you had, you had mentioned earlier that they, the Raptors had some guys playing tonight that typically don't because of injuries. On short notice, can that be difficult in some ways to prep for just when you don't have a real template for how they play? You know, it, it it can be, and you know, like I said, credit those guys for stepping up and playing a really really good basketball game. Um, it's a different challenge, well, not one that we can't overcome, um, one that we shouldn't overcome. But um, you know, like I said, you credit the Raptors; those guys came in, played terrific off the bench in their minutes, and um, you know, sometimes that's the way the game goes. Coach. Siakam has the complete offensive package. He can handle the ball, shoot from the three, and saw it on post. How do you guys feel you did on really trying to slow him down before it gets too hot? Yeah, I mean, uh, we did a decent job on him. You know, we forced him to a low shooting percentage and under his average, and only four assists. It wasn't like he was uh, finding finding shooters all over the court. But uh, you know, we contested his threes, one for eight. But you know, ultimately he got the win, so we didn't do a good enough job on him. Frank, what's uh, yeah? You mentioned the uh, some of the offense and then the, obviously the transition defense. What's the relationship you know between those two in terms of the offensive execution and performing in that way? What is the relationship Just the, with offensive execution and then being able to protect against the the transition problems defensively? Right. Well, you know, there's, there's two types of transition. One where you get a good shot and either make it or have good floor balance, okay, where you have a chance, or you know, possessions where. You don't take a good shot, or you turn the basketball over where you typically don't have a chance. And uh, you know, we just had uh, a few too many possessions where you know, we didn't execute well enough offensively and led the runouts. Um, Frank, what did you make of Kyle Kuzma's night tonight, and where did you see him struggling, especially early? Yeah, well, he's still finding his way. You know what I mean? Just uh, offensively, you know, within our system, where his shots are going to come, and. Um, you know, playing the game the right way, uh, being assertive but not too assertive, and then defensively within within our coverages. And um, you know, he's been pretty good de defensively. Um, you know, up to tonight, had some good stretches tonight. Um, but you know, he's still still in the process of getting his legs under him, getting his rhythm and timing on both ends of the floor. Frank, did you see things tonight that worried you? Can you write this off as, hey, you know, just a great game by Toronto, and you know, uh, get back to wh where you'd been? Yeah, I mean, we saw we saw that Toronto's a really good team. 
That's all we talked about all day. They're a next man up uh, program, a championship program uh, with the way they play. And um, you saw it last year when Kawhi was out. They had a, a really positive record. We knew with guys out tonight they were going to play well. And, um, and they did. So credit the Raptors. Frank, uh, all winning streaks come to an end one way or another. Is, is this sort of a moment you prepared for? Not that you prepared for it tonight, but have you thought about what you're going to say to your team after a loss like this? Nope. Um, really just stay in the moment. And, uh, you know, what, whatever happens after each game, uh, we remove the result from our process of building habits. And we go back tomorrow and we teach and we try to get better. So, um, you know, I, I really wasn't you know, locked into uh, the, the winning streak or, or when it would end or anything like that. Um, you know, just, just stay locked into the, to the process. Uh, there was an instance, in, instance in the third quarter where AD had that block um, and he winced um, at, with, with the shoulder. I'm just curious what the status of that is. Um, is that something you guys are really actively monitoring? Um, have, there been, have you been close to trying to get him a night off at any point or just what's going on with the shoulder? Um, you know, he's been fine with the shoulder. Uh, obviously, we saw that play. Uh, the medical team didn't feel like he needed to come out. And, um, you know, I haven't gotten any update uh, further than that. So, you know, we'll let you know tomorrow. Last question. Frank, uh, I spoke with Rondo earlier. He says he feels great. But when do you expect to see him there in the lineup? Hopefully soon. Um, you know, he's day to day. He's picking up his activity and, you know, with with each day that he picks up his activity, we got to make sure uh, that there's not pain and soreness after, you know, that enhanced work. And then, um, you know, then it's about making sure that he's uh, in the right condition, you know, by playing five on five full court as much as we can, um, you know, and then he'll be ready, but still day to day.